Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome in to Ixion. Ixion came out a couple of years ago, actually, about a year and a half, almost two, uh, about a year and a half ago or so. And uh, I, I've been sitting on it, apparently, and not realized how fun this game is, and I've not been playing it. I picked it up on the Steam Spring Sale recently, and I was started playing around on it. And I am absolutely in love with this game. It is a colony survival builder with a, some pretty unique twists to it and everything that we will get into as we play. It also has a soundtrack that just bangs. Uh, I can sit here and listen to this soundtrack all day. It is such a good soundtrack. Oh my god. Uh, but anyways, yeah, we're going to jump into a new game here. Just a default and everything. Uh, I'm not trying to get into a, a journey. And I, I'm a, I know what I'm doing a little bit, but I'm definitely not going to go for a challenge yet. We're just going to go with the default right here and get started. Now, there's a lot of cutscenes, a lot of ex, um, you know, exposition type stuff. So we're going to get through all that and let all the fun stuff happen. Shuttle EMV Sharon is now docked. Sector 1 empowered and pressurized. Munchy decontamination protocol online. Disembarkation authorized. Message to crew members. Welcome on board the Tycoon, property of Dolus Aerospace Engineering Corporation. You will soon be given your assignments, but until then, please continue to wait near the docking bay. We hope you have a productive voyage, and we'd like to thank you for your contribution towards humanity's future. Administrator, I am Eden, the personal assistant installed on board the Tycoon. In accordance with the Munchie Protocol, 
I have been designed to take into consideration your complete psychological profile so that I may more accurately respond to any needs you may have. My primary purpose is to ensure the Tycoon's automated system function efficiently. I will keep track of the tasks that are necessary for you to fulfill your prerogative of reaching Proxima Centauri and carrying out field research, mining operations, manufacturing protocols, and Dolo's colonization tests. Administrator, I wanted to introduce you to your first tasks person. I'm Dolo's cryonics lead, Marga Council Member Giovanni Batista. So, let's see. Your first objective will be to begin setting up essential infrastructure aboard the Titan, meeting the environmental conditions that are required to support your crew. Having laid these foundations, you will then oversee the installation of the Volt engine and perform a short test jump to Proxima Centauri. Upon arrival, your research teams will carry out a brief survey of local space, gather a few rock and coal dust samples, fire up the colonization protocol, begin building the foundations for mankind's future, yada, yada, yada. And then you'll come back. Now, in order to achieve this, you'll need to familiarize yourself with the Tycoon's core functions. It's no big deal. There's the production, stockpiling and distribution of resources, construction, Balancing of power output with allocation. Oh, and space exploration, you know, setting out expeditions and all that. Basically, everything needed to establish scientific advancement and harmonious autonomy on board the Tycoon, following the first test of its Vol engine. Eden's gonna display and keep track of your main objectives. Oh, and Administrator, don't let the position go to your head. Veneer has insisted to center Dolos's focus on the Tycoon. But this mission is just in preparation for our next project, the Protagoras. The Marduk Council worked damn hard to pull this mission together ahead of schedule. So, toe the line, do as you're told, and bring the Tycoon back in one piece. Leave the grand gestures and saving of mankind from ecosystemic destruction to us, okay? One last word of advice. We don't all think like the near Dolos. As of yet, no human law has been officially established amongst the stars. That sounds like an opportunity knocking on me. Administrator, I have established a connection with Dolus' lead data scientist, Emma Klein. Administrator, Mr. Dolos has made it abundantly clear when it comes to security. Given the importance of the Tycoon, we must have full control over what is happening inside the station. My name is Emma Klein, Dolos' lead data scientist and member of the Marduk Council. My department have just completed final synchronization between Eden and our data treatment tool, the DLS. The DLS, or data listening system, is capable of scanning, recording, and parsing exchanges of any kind. The DLS programming that is a part of Eden will filter all data collected and bring to your attention only the most relevant information. It will also provide you with a condensed overview of any situations that may arise and formulate potential future outcomes. It will permit you to give direct orders without having to go through additional unnecessary paperwork. Eden will then take care of everything via their DLS accreditation. As is often the case with tools produced by my department, I think you'll find that once you start using the DLS, you'll never be able to do without it. Oh, and before I let you go ahead and start writing history, Dr. Munshi, our lead medical expert, wanted me to bring to your attention a possible side effect of wool jumping. Whilst there is a correlation between prolonged space travel and the development of early onset dementia, he believes that a wool jump has the potential to accelerate this process, although this is yet to be proven. His recommendation is for you to immediately send any crew members that are exhibiting uncharacteristic or symptomatic behavior to an infirmary, as these facilities are equipped to treat the mind as well as the body. Remember that all of your actions and choices are being reported by Eden. We are not affiliated with any national or even international organization. The only people that you are answerable to are those of us who sit on the Marduk Council.
who represent the collective interests and ambitions of the company. Administrator, a new request awaits your attention. Okay, after all of that talking, I have been doing some stuff in the background, as you have seen. Uh, what I've been doing is laying down basic roads and stuff, getting some roads going down through here and hooking up these stockpiles. Now, every time you hook up a stockpile, you can click on that button right there and it will take that uh, the resources to a stockpile building. So I've got a stockpile here for alloys. I've got one right here for foodstuffs and I've got one right here for polymers. Uh, you have very limited resources starting out, so you don't want to like kind of build stockpiles everywhere. I did that once and you run out of power real quick. You run out of resources. So just build as, as you build all this stuff, you'll use up the space and everything. So it's fine. Uh, but let's go ahead and get this first event going. So administrator tycoon crew members are currently unable to access food supplies. Nyakon protocols direct the construction of a mess hall and to guarantee access to food. So come underneath here to our construction menu you'll see that we can build a mess hall now so let's go ahead and get that constructed I'm just gonna plop him right there it's going to take 40 alloys they'll bring it down and then our little constructo bot from this workshop will come over and build it for us and in the meantime we can keep telling it to uh, harvest all these construction materials over here And every time they get done, I take out the road because I don't need that road. These roads right there. This game. Oh. I have an incoming transmission from Marduk Council talking. member Henry Bargeville. Bonjour, administrator. What a wonderful day to embrace your faith, don't you see? I am Henri Bargeville, writer, philosopher, lobbyist, but most of all, member of the Marduk Council. I have taken the liberty of personally arranging an exchange out of courtesy with the Ushanabi, a ship in high orbit belonging to one of our commercial allies, the Ashtangites. Even so, they are a small organization. The Ashtangites are important partners who share the same pragmatic, moralistic, and spiritual outlook as we do. The Ushanabi will provide us with a source of food while carrying out the Tycoon's initial testing. By making it the first exclusive trade partner of the Tycoon, we will demonstrate to our long-term allies that Dolos wishes for them to share in our successes. Please assign a cargo ship so that we can check the trade routines. Administrator, trust in genetic predators. Self-similar space will reveal the pattern. Okay, so yeah, we so we've got our mess hall built right here. Mess hall, it takes one food to feed 10 crew members, and we need nine food total to feed our current 85. We've got 51 in storage right now, so we've got a little bit in storage, and I have started building a crew cabin or crew quarters right here for all of our people. You definitely do need that. We've got another event going on. Some crew members are lacking quarters during human history. Unnecessary homelessness has always been an indicator of decay. So we want to make sure everybody is in their homes. We've got 12 cycles to do that, and we will have that here in just a second. That's going to give us 75. Don't be too concerned about where you place everything because you're, you're going to end up tearing down a lot of stuff. You'll end up tearing down and moving things around later. So we'll just get it in there for right now and not worry too much about it. Uh, we Now, we also have construct a cargo ship in the docking bay and a science ship. So this is our docking bay. You can have three ships in it right now. So we're going to get the cargo ship and grab us a science ship. Now, what else can we build? Now, we can build an infirmary, and I definitely would recommend going ahead and getting that built. So, plop him in right there. That way, anyone who gets hurt or sick or anything, go ahead and stick, the, they'll go to the infirmary. Go ahead and get that going. There is some more right over there that I want to actually. 
access to. I, more, I, I want some of that, those polymers right there. And so we need to tell our cargo ship here to uh, retrieve any food. So apparently, apparently there's 12 food available for pickup right now. So I'm going to tell it to pick up that food. So it's going to go out and pick up food. Uh, so it's a little confusing. Oh, well, I didn't mean to do that. So it's a little confusing with how some of that works. If there are resources out on the on the world on the uh, solar system map, they will go and pick up those resources. This supply ship right here will, on occasion, have food and stuff. So the cargo ship is just going to, on occasion, head over to the uh, Urshanabi and pick up any food it has. Building a science ship, that's going to be the next most important thing. I'll go ahead and just queue up all of this, that way, as it is, um, as they can, they will go and get it all. And there's the science ship. Good deal. All right, just tell that to make sure it picks all of that up. So we're going to head out to the planetary map right here and take a look around. So we are in our solar system. There's Mars, Mercury, Venus, Earth, the moon. There are some events that can happen. You need to use your science ship to go check those out. So we click on the science ship. We're going to click over onto the moon, and he's going to go over there and check out this event. A science ship has arrived at its destination. So, summary of intelligence on the abandoned base. The base is out of commission. Auxiliary systems are operational and could be used to restore power. Transmission from the Mellon's team. We have reached the UN base. It is abandoned and depressurized. So we can exploit a security vulnerability to gain access to the central systems, or we can simply dismantle the base. So we are going to exploit the security vulnerability. It's going to take a cycle to do that. A science ship team has completed a task. Okay, so we did get 10 research points for hacking into the main computer. So we end that, and now we can simply just dismantle the base for any resources. Now, meanwhile, we're going to come back to the base here, and our next thing that we can do is to build a tech lab. Definitely want to get that tech lab up and running. So I think I can't put it right any of it right here for right now, so we're just going to put the tech lab right over here. Get that tech lab put in. Tech lab is basically where you spend those research points. Ah, good. They are done. They have collected all of that. So we've gotten 30... Alloy and 90 science. Very cool. They're going to collect it and then they will bring that on home for us. Administrator, I have an incoming transmission from Dolus's head of medicine, Dr. Abhinav Munchi. Greetings, Administrator. I'm Dr. Abhinav Munchi, Dolus expert in compartmentalism and medicine, and a member of the Marduk Council. I'm glad to finally meet you, even in this digital manner. Your psychological test results were quite impressive. My friend and colleague, Philip Stanford, couldn't be here today. So I will take the role of introducing you to the final stages of the Vol engine integration. Before we get into that, however, we would like you to complete the testing station's exploration and enhancement capabilities. You'll then be able to begin researching the EVA airlock and assess its compatibility with the Tycoon's core systems. I hope that the work of our team will ensure that you're equipped to deal with most situations you encounter up there. Before I leave you, Stanford would like me to remind you that space is a far less fanciful and forgiving environment than science fiction would have us believe. It would be wise to remember that. Okay, I'm gonna pop back out here again. There are there is 30 alloy that needs to be collected on the moon right there. What I can do is take my fleet, tell him to make sure he goes and picks that up. So our cargo ship is going to collect that alloy and bring it back. Let's pop down to Saturn and see what's happening down there. Now, let's do technology. 
So we start out with a bunch of technologies already done. The infirmary, the EKP engine, or the electrokinetic propulsion engine, which is for planetary travel on our ship. Uh, the whole, you know, some basic stuff like this right here, solar panels and all that. The first thing we definitely want to get is that airlock, though. The airlock is going to allow us to do uh, construction outside of the Tycoon Station. And he is down here on Saturn. A signature trace from an EKP system has been detected near Saturn. EKP technology is the exclusive property of Dolos, but records indicate that the company has not deployed any missions. Well, let's go investigate. That's going to take three cycles. And that's at 40%. So once we get that done, we will check back in on that part. All right, the EVA airlock has been researched. I also want to go ahead and get that insect farm. Uh, that way we can start producing our own food. And we now have the EVA airlock. Now, we have a little problem right here. Yeah, we'll take a look at that in a second, buddy. We do have a small problem here. The EVA airlock takes 12 power, and I only have 9 at the moment. So what I can actually do is we can turn off the infirmary. For the, just for the moment, we'll turn off the infirmary and we're going to put an airlock in. We're going to go ahead and we'll slap that airlock in maybe right, let's see, yeah, let's put him right over here on the edge maybe. Oh, I can't get it right there. All right, I guess right there it is then. We'll put that right there. And while that's being built, we can go and take a look at what's happening on Saturn. So a prototype rocket set by the UN seems to use a variation of EKB. We have stripped it down and recovered schematics, so we can get 10 research out of that. Looks like Insect Farm has been researched, so the last thing that we need to do is the probe launcher over here. Let's go ahead and grab that. All right, looks like he is done there. So our next place, we have something at Mars. So let's head up there. Our last five alloy is coming in. They can start construction of the EVA airlock. Now we are starting to run a little low on food right here. That's about to be uh, dealt with, so I'm not super worried about that. Okay, cool. So now that we have the airlock done, we can go outside, and now we can do exterior construction. There's solar panels and engine stuff. Now, they do want us to build the Vol engine, but first, I definitely need some solar panels. I'm going to go ahead and build both sets of solar panels out here. That solar panels gives us power, so, and we need some power badly. So, get the solar panel done. We'll take a look at that here in just a moment. Need those solar panels so I can have some power because the next thing we're going to be building is some insect farms for food. Go ahead and get four of those up and running before our people start starving. Another event is going on. So, uh, reports being received relating to the claim optimization protocols. They indicate crew members are being overworked. It would be pragmatic to deploy additional crew members or to reduce the number of concurrently active workplaces. Uh, so, we can request additional uh, staff from the Urshanabi. So, let's go ahead and do that. And that's going to give us 20 people. So, we want to take that cargo ship, tell it to pick up people, bring those people back. Now, 
Now these um, insect farms produce food every one cycle and they're going to start taking that food over. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we're starting to get enough food now to supply all of that so our people won't be starving anymore. Thank God. It's always a little bit of a quick trial to hurry up and get enough food coming in so your people don't starve to death. But we've got that taken care of. We do have some homeless people, so let's make sure we go ahead and put down another house. The last thing I want to go ahead and grab is the uh, probe launcher right here. I'm going to stick that over here on this side. Get a road over there to it. There we go. People are no longer starving. We can also go ahead and turn the infirmary back on. Takes care of all of our problems. Okay, lovely. Now, Mars. So, the UN has established a facility on Mars. Its crews are currently lacking the materials required to repair a critical fault in their oxygen supply system. We can repair the fault in exchange for resources, or we can repair the fault in, ex in exchange for research data. I only have 35 polymers. And I don't really want to risk that. I think we're going to repair the fault in exchange for resources. So let's do that. We'll transport the 20 resources that they need. All right, he's loading up. Good deal. Get that probe right there done. Yeah, we'll see, we've got plenty of food coming in now. And we've unlocked everything. Oh, the battery. Yes. We have unlocked the battery tier. We don't have enough research yet, though. Oh, maybe I should have done research points. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. Probably should have done research, but I didn't. Now, technically, you can sit here because you do get one every 30 cycles. Has completed a task. It's going to give us 20 um, polymers. I want to make sure we tell him to also pick up polymers. So he's going to go back up there and grab those. Get rid of some of these roads that are not necessary anymore. Just looking, I guess I should have put that down one extra tile. That's okay, I will I'll move him later. I can move him later, that's not a big deal. I thought I was on the edge. I was not on the edge. That's okay though. All right, so there's some polymers and stuff that's come in. Oh, this guy's done. Let's go ahead and build us a probe because there is a little hidden achievement that you could do. And I'll show you how to do that. And then we'll build the bowl engine. Continuing to collect all those resources right there. All right, that thing is done. So the probe. Take the probe. And we start looking around. You see all these over here? You're looking for this to start spiking up. So nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, look, there's there's something. It's finding something. Just keep looking around until it goes green right there. We have found something right there. So we're going to send that probe out to this area and see what we can find. This is a hidden achievement. You, uh, It doesn't tell you that you have to do this. While that's happening, we're going to go to the Tycoon exterior. And we are going to go ahead and get the Vol engine, which allows a self-similar space and get that built.
Head back out here. He is almost at his location. There we go. So, unauthorized access. So, by proceeding beyond this point, you are breaching the terms of your contract with Dolos AEC. Okay, so let's send our ship over there. Uh, the engine is being constructed and worked on. The I, I love that graphics of this game. It's just so good looking. I mean, that just looks phenomenal. I absolutely love it. Absolutely love how that looks. You can see as you, you know, we've added stuff onto it. We've added on those solar panels. Those were not there before. Those got put on after we built it. So cool. All right, science ship is almost over at this uh, unauthorized access area. So we'll go see what's happening there. A science ship has arrived at its destination. Okay, so by proceeding beyond this point, you are breaching the terms of your contract. Yes, so the Naomi Protocol opening rat back door into administrator terminal. Attempt to contact the hidden Dolo station, Outer Hope. Incoming transmission. Tycoon Station, this is Marduk Council Member Rabbi, uh, Rabbi Nyakond. These names. You are not authorized to interface with Outer Hope. The purpose of this facility is to allow Dolos to continue with the development of its most highly classified projects far away from the prying eyes of our competitors and the media conglomerates of Earth. Do you not realize that the whole world is watching you at this moment and that your presence here could jeopardize this entire operation? I'll be filing an official complaint with Veneer himself, unless perhaps you can do something for me that may change my mind. Alright, so we need to send 30 resources to Outer Hope. So we shall send 30 out there. Going to take them just a few minutes to get all that put together. Still do have plenty of material and storage though. We have an incoming transmission though. Administrator, because of your continued successful management of the tycoon, Dolos have authorized the dispatch of new crew members and food supplies. Please ensure that they have suitable accommodation once you reach Proxima Centauri. All right, close transmission. New objective, we need to bring on the 100 workers from the Urshanabi onto the Tycoon. Our cargo ship is heading over there with the 30 materials. And then at the Urshanabi, there's 40 food and 100 workers that we need to house. We need to have housing for all of those workers. A science ship team has completed a task. Okay, thank you, Administrator. Now leave. I will ensure that Dolos issues a public statement that rationalizes our contact here at the edge of the solar system. I'll placate Veneer for now, but you'll need to explain your actions in due course. You might have heard work on the next iteration of the Tycoon, the Protagoras. The Tycoon operation must succeed if we are to achieve our goal of bringing humanity into a new era. Trust in genetic conatus, self-similar space will reveal the patterns. We get 20 and two of those. Cool. Um, I need to be sure that I tell him to also go and pick up the electronics. So he's heading over there to pick up that. Let's head back to Tycoon Station. We've got a hundred people coming in. That's seven more seven more um, crew quarters. Seven more crew quarters that I... Oof. Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, I may not be able to put them in just yet. Homelessness impacts the sector stability, but it's not going to kill you to not have it, basically. All right, there's that. He's just going to keep going collecting everything. 
the different phases of preparation, calibration, and verification were successfully completed. You must now start the full binding procedure. Dolo's protocols now deem you competent to gather resources, knowledge, and test colonization routines once you reach Proxima Centauri. Before you do so, Vanir Dolos, Marduk Council Founder and Dolos CEO, wants to talk to you. Hello, Administrator. I'm glad to see that you have managed to complete your assignments in preparation for this unique moment in history. You must understand that this is not simply another chapter in humanity's story. The book of our life on Earth is over. We stand now that it's epilogue. It saddens me to think that there are many who have yet to comprehend the reality of our situation. We've endured endless cycles of war, crisis, and famine. Still, the worst is yet to come. There are others, like Dolos, who have prepared for this outcome, but most of our kind remain sheltered from the horror of the predicament we find ourselves in. This pale ghost of civilization will wither and die, and with it, the tenets and values of the past. As we prepare to leave this system for the first time, perhaps we must decide which fragments we will pick up and take forward with us. Through Dolos, I am offering mankind an alternative means of survival. The Tycoon is a tablet upon which we will carve our new history. Do you recognize why I have done all of this? Having foreseen our fate, I became fixated on altering it. I set about fashioning the ropes and tying the knots that would bind together this magnificent ship. It is true that our time in this world is brief, but at least I can rest assured knowing that my legacy will endure for eons. Farewell, Administrator. For the few who stand in the light and the many who dwell in the dark, you carry the fate of us all. Yeah, no, <laughs> no problem, buddy. All right, let's uh, make sure all of our ships are recalled. I need to, yeah, okay, you. I know there was a way to tell it to go immediately back to the Tycoon, I forgot. Oh, there it is, back to Tycoon. So we'll get him back home and have him dock with the Tycoon the Space Station. Uh, I'm not going to worry too much about the homelessness right now because we are short on materials. We only have 120. Get back in there. We only have 129 um, alloy left, so and we can't get any more right now. So I am just going to have to wait on that one. All right, ship is back. Good deal. Standing by, standing by. Good deal. Okay, now it is time to move. All right, so we're going to take the Tycoon and we're going to move him to the moon. So all power from the main grid is diverted to the EKP systems during the Tycoon movement. Now, unfortunately, we don't have batteries, so we're just going to lose power. There she goes. This is what makes this one so unique for a colony colony builder. You move your colony around. It's so cool. I absolutely think it's awesome. All right. Now it is time to initiate the vol jump. Let's just jump back in here. Make sure everything looks okay. Let's turn that down just a touch here. Everything looks good. We've got plenty of food. We've got everything ready. We are ready to make our vol jump. All power from the main grid will be diverted to the engine during the half cycle charge preceding ignition. Sectors will be powered by batteries. The charging procedure cannot be interrupted or canceled. Let's charge the engine and let's take off. In accordance with Prof Stanford procedures, all ships must return to the Tycoon before volt jump initiation.
earth, our home. She is unique. Held in its bosom are the ingredients of evolution. Beyond raw survival, beyond the safety of comfort, we, humanity, pursue something greater. We have learnt, persevered, shaped our knowledge from that which is found in the furthest realms of science. However, humanity has brought destruction to the earth, polluted its blood, choked its breath. Today we are paying the price for this. We know the taste of a dying world. But the earth is not to be our grave. A mother does not wish to see her children disappear with her. She wishes to see instead courage in her children to carry on. Dolos carries this courage. We have gone further than any nation, moved faster than any corporation, hand in hand with those who, like us, carry that courage. The Tycoon Station is both an epilogue of these endeavors and a prologue to humanity's next steps. Our Council of Scientists leads the vanguard. They know, as do we all, that the survival of humanity now depends on what we glimpse out there in the dark. That we are masters of our own destiny. That we must go as a species bound together, pushing further into the unknown. We set sail on this new sea because there is hope to be found, horizons to explore, and because our very existence depends on it. I give you the stars. I give you the full engine. say something went wrong I would say something went terribly wrong full jump complete running preliminary diagnostics Several anomalies detected. Multiple digital security breaches found within full jump routines. Full engine critically damaged. Hull integrity compromised. Analysis confirms discrepancies between the mission clock and the apparent advanced state of the solar system. We are receiving no communication signals from Earth Likelihood of ongoing survival stands at approximately 7.67%. Activating Marduk survival protocols. New mission objective established. Ensure humanity's survival by finding a habitable exoplanet. Urgent issues requiring immediate attention. Increase food production output. Restore hull integrity. Administrator, a new request awaits your attention. So, something terrible has indeed occurred. We did our little vol jump as a test to try to go to Proxima Centauri. We apparently ripped the moon apart, and we have somehow, it seems, entered back into our own solar system. But something's not right. The Earth is uh, not looking very good. And the moon is basically fractured all into pieces. The uh, Earth Shinabi is here. But it is uh, looking a little worse for wear. And there's also, what does it say? Down with Dolos, maybe, on it? Yeah. And it's looking really old. So I think we've had a time jump as well. Something is, something's not 
quite right here. We don't know what, but it's about to be our job to figure it out. That, guys, is going to have to wait for the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this first episode of Ixian. I am thoroughly enjoying this game, and I'm looking forward to playing it quite a bit more. Hope to see you in the next one. Until then, guys, take care.